Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some gruel mid-range. We'll go ahead and try this out in Mythic today. So we played gruel Arcbow just a couple of days ago and it did pretty well for us and you know I liked it and everything but when at the end of the video we talked about maybe it would be better that instead of playing Ilharg and Ronis to go the Planeswalker route uh, with like Sarkin and Nyssa instead. And so that's what I'm going to try out here is see if if we like this more than playing uh, Arcbow with a lot of creatures for Gruul. Because um, uh, like Haste is really good right now and uh, like with all these other Planeswalkers that you want to be attacking like the turn that you're playing, you don't want to play creatures that, that don't have Haste that you play it. It sits there, they play their Teferi Time Raveler, bounce it, and then you have to take another turn to play your creature again. It's It's pretty rough. So both Sarkin and Nyssa can provide some haste. Now, you know, like Sarkin is kind of haste. You know, if, if you have another Planeswalker out, you can plus one right away. But you can also just get it, you know, you have a dragon plus your Sarkin also. But Nyssa is, is awesome. Nyssa gives you a 3-3 three, three haste creature basically every single turn. Another card that I'm really high on these days because of all the Teferi Time Ravelers around is Legion War Boss. Notice like yesterday when I played the Grixis Control, I had four Legion War Boss in my sideboard. And I just think this card is is very strong right now because this does uh, match up really well against uh, Teferi Time Raveler. So we'll uh, try to be putting this in on turn two even with Lanwar Elf if we get lucky there. That would be quite nice. But yeah, we're going like more of the, the Planeswalker route here. Domri, Chandra, Sarkin, Nyssa. One thing that I'm not sure about is... So I'm going to play some Growth Chamber Guardians here because this, this helps you kind of grind in the late game. But I'm on, honestly not sure if... Um, I don't know, the Riot Goblin, Zer Zerta Goblin, I, I'm not sure if, like, which one's better, because, like, this thing does have haste, you know, and, and like I've been saying, I think haste is very valuable right now, so we'll kind of, we'll kind of see there, um, we'll see how good we like Growth Chamber Guardian while we play these games, um, Death Gorge Scavenger is a card that is, its value is going up right now with, the, there's a bunch of Arc Light Phoenix, running around and then also the command the dread horde decks where you can try to exile the explore creatures and everything exile some some planeswalkers while you're doing some attacking plus it can gain some life against red so it has a lot of good applications and different matchups um that's that's my deck here direfully daredevil come in against all those thought erasure decks and basically a lot of blue decks that's where it's coming in against so yeah let's give this a try so we'll go gruel midrange planeswalker heavy Where's my ranking at? 918? Dang. I thought I was a lot higher than that yesterday. I think I was I was like 500 and then I lost and then I hadn't checked it since then. So I guess we went down some overnight too. Hey, Zerf, doing really good today. Yeah, I hope you're doing good too. Do you have you have like a holiday today, right? That's what I think Sin Christ was telling me. It's a Canadian holiday today. Bushi says that I should play one extra land here. Yeah, that that is something that I I have 23 in here as far as lands go, but I I kind of do want to play a 24th. <clears throat> so we'll that's something that we may be updating while we're playing. And then yeah, so you like you like the goblin more than the guardian. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where you can get that info, but yes, your ranks go down over time. Like, as other people rank up, they'll pass you kind of thing. I don't know where that information is written down, though. Of course, over here, you can tell, like, the decks that we're playing in ranked go with R. And then we have donation decks also in that are written with the DD there. Um, other times, if, if I'm just playing a, a deck that, like... It's like kind of a newer deck that I just want to test out. You know, that's not a donation deck. It just won't have an R or a, a DD if we're playing it in the constructed queue. Uh, I was hoping we were going to have a Gruul mirror. Or at least our opponent's all about the Gruul. All right, so Chow says... Espa. I've been playing Ban Arcbow, and I've been thinking about a time wipe in the sideboard for mono white decks and other decks that flood the board with creatures, especially because it works really well with Deputy. What are your thoughts? Not a bad idea. Yeah, it does work really well with Deputy. Um, 
It is, yeah, it's, I, I remember, I've only played it one time with Esper Hero, and I remember liking it. That was like towards the beginning of the format when I had a donation deck for Esper Hero that had Time Wipe in it. And it worked pretty well. So yeah, I could I could definitely see playing a Time Wipe there. Because Mono White would be pretty fast for the deck. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play the Four Color Command deck later. Which I guess is named Four Color Dread Horde. I like Four Color Command, but... Uh, looks like a lot of people are calling it Four Color Dread Horde, so... Name it that. No, I am not making this up as I go. Time for Plan B. So I want the the war boss down right away and working. Uh, oh, I've done. Ooh, bouncing the, the token, working towards getting more tokens in play. The fairy doesn't really do anything right now. Here we go. Okay, perfect. Let's and they tuck Phoenix. Go ahead, tuck Phoenix. Nah, you know didn't tuck Phoenix. I'm not done hey, what's up, Mike? Let's you use Twitch Prime on your phone now. Nice. No, so the the alternate art cards are like the card styles that you get at the end of the season are already picked out. For this season, it's uh, Terramander and Incubation Druid are the two. So it's Terramander for gold, Incubation Druid for platinum. Don't make another move. I really should have seen that coming. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's you know. Let's yeah. try this. Good questions. Uh, <clears throat> Moon Pie said, "I've been having all sorts of fun with a Mortal Sun in a Gruel mid-range deck. Mortifying." Sorry, uh, do I want to, basically do I want to just like throw the Growth Chamber Guardian out there with the Phoenix where, um, I guess so, where they could just kill the Growth Chamber Guardian and I don't get any value from it. I guess so. That's a good one. Um, yeah, no, so, so this, this deck, we have a whole lot of Planeswalkers, so that's why I'm not, not playing Immortal Sun whatsoever, but I do like Immortal Sun right now, I think it's very strong. I guess I could have done both. I'll just kind of play that quickly. Couldn't I have done both? Yeah, I could have done both. I didn't think about like the the mana and everything there. I was just like, I just didn't want. Um, I 
I didn't want to like play Nissa and then like have the three four attack, but yeah, I could have done both. All right, so we'll trade we'll trade the Phoenix for like their creature plus a removal spell. But yeah, I should have had this out the, the previous the turn. Because obviously with us being at 15, them being at 30, we're going to be um, behind that 3-4. So they kept their card on top pretty quickly. Must be something they like. Oh... Dang it. That's unfortunate. I'm the best fire starter there is. This is just gonna be bad for you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Hey Taz. Uh, do I think Nyssa is overpowered? I don't know. It's all these all these War of the Spark Planeswalkers are really good. Like all especially all these rare ones, you know, like Chandra, Nyssa, Teferi, Narset, uh all of these, Sarkin, Domri. Like these are all just awesome. Like they're they made the planeswalkers very strong. What's up, Nitty Rat? <laughs> yeah, beta beta is probably going to be a while. Um, I don't expect it to be this game to be out of beta. I really don't expect it to be out of beta 2019. I think like the earliest it could be would be like the fall set of 2019. Maybe they, maybe with like the release of the fall set and with rotation, maybe they announce that it's it's leaving beta then. But I don't really expect it to ever leave beta for like the first evil future, honestly. Um. Of course, I didn't. I didn't really get very much value out of the Growth Chamber Guardian. It would have been better as the Zertar, Zer, Zertog Goblin. There we go. But I could have, uh, I could have played it in a deck. You know, I could have tried to get more value out of it than what I did. Coil to kill their 3 4. I kind of like just being able to, to throw these at planeswalkers, like the shocks and lightning strikes and stuff. I'm not sure if I want shock or lightning strike, though. Hey, what's up, Eisen F? I'm not sure which one I'd rather have. I'll just go with shock because it costs less. Easier to double spell with the shock. For the most part, like all the, the planeswalkers, whenever they minus, a shock will kill it. Yep, getting into the stream from the very first game. Got there. I think I figured out the, the lag problems, like for the most part. As we see, we haven't had any lag at all today yet. And I am optimistic that we have. I guess there's just a tiny bit there, but. So the main issue was yesterday I was playing at, on my side, it was at 1440, like the output instead of 1080. And, and you know, you see, you see 1080 anyway, but um, 
But yeah, on my side it was 1440, and so that was making my computer like really overwork. And that was like the the main issue that we had with the uh, that we had before with it. So fix that. So put that back to 1080. So I guess that setting must have changed, you know, two or three days ago. I don't know if there was some update I had that we had like two or three days ago, maybe. Um, so yeah, I guess we have to reset the reset the settings every patch for arena. So I'll, I'll remember to do that. The other thing is I am I am uh, also uploading on or like streaming on OBS for like an output setting. Um, that should have my computer do a little bit less. That should have my computer do less work. Also, my CPU do less work, and I'm hoping that helps quite a bit. Wait, it may have a little wow. bit it's less performance. Burning. Unclear if it will or not. Y'all let me know. All right, let's Thought Erasure the Esper deck. It's always good whenever you get to do that. Double Teferi Time Waster, a Thief of Sanity, and an Enter the God Eternals. I think I'm going to take the Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, Spellbreaker's fine. Hey, we got a raid here. Welcome everybody from Craig Max stream. Hi. I do not Peyton. No, but do this all the time. All right, got our first match. Want to know there? Starting off the day with a win today. So yeah, so supposedly it may make the gameplay just a little bit you know like very 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 slightly blurrier at certain times um i i watch like like the differences on youtube on like on like uh first person shooter games and and stuff and it's 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 noticeable when you're really looking for it but it's really slight and i don't even know if it'll really affect a game like arena so you know you y'all can let me know if you think that the the picture is a lot worse or something, but I suppose supposedly it's using less CPU. It's basically like it's painting the picture faster um, and taking less time, so it's less detailed kind of thing. Like if you think about like if you had to like sketch a sketch like a you know whatever picture, if you took ten hours, you could sketch a good picture where if you took 10 minutes it would be a lot rougher around the edges you know that's obviously a, a big exaggeration but it's that kind of thing that i'm basically having it go faster and use less cpu thanks jelly so i'm hoping hoping that helps out with the lag issues there hmm I kind of want to just play the Lana War Elf, I think. Or I could go Spellbreaker. I'll go Spellbreaker. Get that 4 4 in here. <laughs> Alright, looks like we may have like a mirror match here. Okay, good. Not expecting Harpooner to do too much. It could kill like half a Rekindling Phoenix or something like that.
<laughs> okay, you, you did, Yori. You're the second person that said that they've rearranged their Gruul deck to just be no Planeswalkers and with Immortal Suns. Cool, interesting. Ow. Nothing but dust when I'm done. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now and then. My wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. <clears throat> so I'm basically going to trade Domri's here. We're both at three mana with one Lana or Elf. They can kill my Spellbreaker for their Land of War Elf, but that should... Basically, I, I'm, I want to keep them off of mana, especially how they don't have two red mana right now. So that, that's what I'm doing here. Keeping them off of, off of mana. This is fine. I'll take that trade. So I'm trading my Spellbreaker and my Domri for their Domri, Land of War Elf, and Growth Chamber Guardian. Which I guess their Domri just killed my Harpooner. So I guess our real trade is Harpooner, Spellbreaker, Domri for those three. So. Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? We will not fail. So do I want to actually play this war boss? Or have the 3-3 ready to block? I guess I just want the 3-3 to block. The land shall conquer you. I could I could have untapped the stomping ground and played war boss. Dang, I got two red now. Probably rekindling phoenix. <laughs> this is a trading card game, that is true. That's what we were doing. We have a trading card game. Underestimate my fortitude. Yep, there's Phoenix. Rise, my elemental friend. Not looking so good for us. Phoenix should just be able to take over. At least they're out of stuff, though. They've drawn a couple of lands in a row, just like we have. Um, but they got this Phoenix. Forgive me. We need our own Phoenix top deck. Another Domri wouldn't be so bad because then it would mean my mountains would trade with Spellbreakers. Uh, no, no, Wilderness Reclamation doesn't really need the Banhammer anymore because they printed that ridiculous Teferi card. So that, that stopped Wilderness Reclamation. 
Oh no, they top decked another Phoenix? That's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, there's the Sarkin, but Sarkin's not very good against Phoenix. Teferi, Time Raveler stops Wellness Reclamation. Can't play any any cards at instant speed at all. Are you ready? So the extra mana you get from Wilderness Reclamation doesn't do anything. We could really use our own Phoenix. Listen to them roar! The dragon does not lose! Getting punished for not playing that that land. Let's do Just in case we hit another land no here. Fire right, we hit a Sarkin. So Legion Warboss and Nyssa didn't perform very well in this match. I think that those are going to be the cards that we're going to be looking to sideboard out. Looks like the 4-4 four four, um, you know, making like 3-3s three in this world of like other 4-4s four and rekindling Phoenixes is not where you want to be at all. Get these coils in. Another Chandra. I guess Death Gorge Scavenger can enter, can exile non creatures and become a 4 3. Does a really good job of eating Phoenix, though. But yeah, give me that. Um, Daredevil has a few targets, not a ton. If we take out Nissa and Warboss. I mean, this is going to be great if you're ahead. And maybe if I'm on the play, maybe I can get ahead. Maybe we don't need Harpooner. Harpooner does block Phoenix, though. We'll take out one Harpooner and have one Nissa. I guess I keep. I just hope to draw green mana. And also hope the opponent's hand's not very good. They kept their seven.
Which the hope there, the opponent's hand is not very good whenever they keep the seven. Not too much of a solid strat. Untap. No untap. Better be careful. Oh, Have my. at it, boys. Ooh. Start Power sacrificing great. our lands. Both pay my balls if you can be shot. Power surges through these lands. Harness the elements. Our mulligan's coming together, though. Even though they could just start destroying all of our lands with burn spells, but you don't need lands if your opponent's dead. You hit four Arc Light Phoenix in the top ten cards of your deck. Very nice. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. I want to save the non creature spells. Okay, to be able to pump up the scavenger. All right, now do I want the Nissa on the draw? I think Heart. I think Daredevil is probably better than Harpooner. I should have just been playing Daredevil, um, and maybe not the Nissa on the draw. Maybe cut a Sarkin on the draw, honestly. Hmm. Nah, Sargon's cool. Sargon just doesn't match up well against Phoenix. Maybe we get rid of one scavenger. Gotta get rid of one card. I think it's Scavenger, Sarkin, Nissa. One of those. I'm gonna take out the Nissa. Even though Nissa just won us that game. Adurial, hey, what's up? So you opened a Lily Japanese art in your booster box. That is really awesome. And then you gifted it to a friend who's an absolute fan of Lily. Wow, that's, that's a really kind thing to do also. That's a really good day. Get to have a good open in a booster box and then also do something really nice. Give it to somebody that's a huge fan of the card and just a fan of the character and everything. Really nice. Okay. Game three. Do you think that Awakening of Vitugazi is playable in Constructed? Yeah, it's probably playable. Does does Little to Fairy bounce that? It probably doesn't say non-land creature, right? I'm sure it just says creature. That would be annoying, but obviously it's instant speed, the Vitu Gazi, you can play it on end step and everything. It would just be kind of annoying if you do that, and then they, uh, like the next turn, they bounce it. But creatures die to removal, that's what happens. Getting a 9-9 nine -nine is pretty big. The biggest problem with the card Awakening of Vitu Gazi is the um, competition for five mana cards in standard. Five mana cards in standard are 
there's just there's just a lot of them that are really good we're seven sets like we have seven sets in standard right now they're all filled with like good rares and mythics at five mana and all the colors that's just like your your spot where your cards are awesome if you had to choose um a best deck in the current metagame what would you choose honestly i don't know if i had to just single out one one single deck Maybe four color, maybe four color dread horde that we're gonna play today. Honestly, maybe that. If I had to pick something. But I don't know. Yeah, mono red's good for sure. Our opponent just get disconnected or something. We are really close in the rankings, number 630 and number 661. I don't think I've ever played anybody this close to whatever, you know, whatever ranking I had at the time. I think this is like the closest ranking I've ever got paired against. And it's a mirror match, too. So that's that's crazy. We have a match that that's that's that close and it's a mirror. But I guess they got disconnected for game 3. It's unfortunate. No, I'm not I'm not too big on Jeskai Walkers. Ugh. Throughout the last couple days. I feel like I should be Domri. Even though we're 2-0 and, and now I'm switching. Uh, that could be bad. Which of course we're playing five matches here. Um But no, I'm not I'm not too big on Jeskai Walkers. I think that it's a pretty easy deck to attack. <clears throat> Um, once, like, I don't think it's a it's a good deck, or it, it's as good of a deck whenever people are are sideboarding for it and and trying to be prepared for it and everything. I think this past weekend it people weren't quite ready for it in paper tournaments, but I don't really expect that to be the case like in the upcoming weekend. So I wouldn't I would not recommend it playing it this upcoming weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> Hub of the Great. I've had I have a new Niv Mizza deck that's pretty sweet. I can I have my YouTube channel up so I can find it real quick for you. And welcome everybody here ah. in Twitch chat. Mute. Why does the video just pop up immediately? There you go. All right, so Command the Dreadhorde. They got that, they got the land war off going. This is looking pretty bad for us. Right now. Jade Light being a 4-3 is a problem. If it was just a 3-2, I could attack with the Growth Chamber Guardian. They they won't block. Or, like, maybe they will. I don't, honestly, maybe they would have. But the whole being it being a 4-3 and not a 3-2 is a problem. Yes, Peyton, the four-color Dreadhorde deck I'm going to play today does not have Bond to Flourishing. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Hey, what's up, Furious Fred? Hmm. That Jade Light Ranger is a, a huge problem. Hey, thanks for the sub there, Fred. Let's see. You want our style? You got it. 
This allows the Growth Chamber Guardian to trade with the Jade Light Ranger also. No, obviously trading is not even really that good for us because the command the Dread Horde. Oh, let the bloaters feel the ground tremble. Ah, <clears throat> oh, you're welcome, Fred. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um, yeah, basically, in instead of bonds, we're playing going to try Paradise Druid for like you know since we're playing four colors, and you know it will help us get mana just like bonds do does. No one knows the wilds like I do. We are... We are certainly dead. This one's over. They're not attacking. Interesting. Why, why would they not attack... Domri there. Just more things in the graveyard is just better for them. There has to be like trades that happen. Alright, so I can I can play my Phoenix, have Domri kill the hostage taker. The problem with that is they do get hostage taker back with Command the Dread Horde. And then they also get Domri. But I don't think it's better than just not doing anything than just not you know they're just like playing land war elf here we're just really dead to the command of the dread horde Why why would they want to protect Vivian? They can just have Vivian they can just have Vivian die and get it back. And they they'd still have like the Wild Growth Walker to, to block. That Wild Growth Walker being in the graveyard doesn't really matter. No accord. No peace. So I definitely need Lava Coil, want these scavengers, um, do I want Daredevil? Probably not. It doesn't feel like War Boss is getting through in this matchup. Harpooner is definitely not necessary. Maybe Warboss can get through on the play. Yeah, maybe we can get lucky and get Warboss through on the play. But if I'm not taking out Warboss, then I guess I don't I don't really have other things to take out, honestly. I'll I'll just take out Warboss and put in the Chandra. Because basically Scavenger just kind of takes the, the slot of Warboss in the in the deck there. So I've been seeing a whole lot of Sultai Dreadhorde recently, like playing against a lot of Sultai Dreadhorde right now and not playing against nearly as much 4-color. But I feel like 4-color is is the better deck, but I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that. I uh, have I don't I don't really know what like that heads-up matchup is like. 
too much, but I feel like Teferi is a really big part of like four color being better with having the instant speed. I want to be able to play Chandra next turn. There's nothing really to eat right now with Scavenger. You don't need to like get it down immediately and have them just like kill my Scavenger and then it doesn't get to do anything. Of course, if they would have blocked either of my creatures with the Midnight Reaper, we would have just, um, now you've done it. Would have just turned our Growth Chamber Guardian into a four-four. This is just gonna be bad for you. The heat of my flames come to me. All right, so Vraska can eat the dragon. Maybe I should have ticked up on Sarkin and just had Chandra hit them for four. Honestly, I probably should have just done that because Vraska eating the dragon. But I think I can beat Vraska eating the dragon. If I would have just ticked up though. Sarkin would have a lot of loyalty. They'd be at five with the Midnight Reaper also and the Chandra triggers. That'd be pretty tough. Come on. Impossible. Hmm. There's no problem fire can't solve. I guess this is just lethal. Wait, so three. Oh no, no, because I can't I can't activate the Grill Chamber Guardian with that. So never mind, not lethal. I want to see someone using the new Modern Horizons card, Morophon the Boundless, naming dragon. Oh, Morophon the Boundless is the name of the card. Naming dragons with Nicol Bolas and new Nismizit. It was probably going to die anyway. Yeah, I guess I could have just could have just jump locked and kept Sarkin around. Yeah, that would have been a better play. Um, a wild Growth Walker. Tad annoying. <clears throat> right, four. I thought they were at five. We Never mind, became. sorry. I thought they were at five. Come to me. Okay. Well, it took a little bit of a strange route after we were really far ahead to finish it out, but we still finished it out. Hopefully, turn. Yeah, I'm going to keep 
I'm going to keep Scavenger over War Boss. Hopefully turn three Midnight Reaper is their first play again. That would be nice. I kind of feel like I... I don't know if I like having two shocks and... You know, I don't have like a ton of removal for Wild Growth Walker. You know, I have two Lava Coil, two Lightning Strike. I wonder if I should just have more removal for Wild Growth Walker. Like if I... Like should I just be playing like all Lightning Strikes? Should I just have... Oh, well, I was already playing that land before the card I drew. Uh, should I just have... Lava Coil's main instead? I really like the damage being able to go upstairs, though. Alright, worst case scenario. Absolute worst case scenario. What's the point of playing this thing? Maybe they don't have an explore creature. Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Yeah, worst case scenario was me drawing land, land, and them ha actually having Wild Growth Walker on turn two. Oh, great. More Wild Growth Walker. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Don't think we're winning this. Our four lander turning into a six lander. Not going to beat Wild Growth Walkers. Yeah, I got some sweet deck donations today. Yep. Dredge and Nile Legends. We'll see. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do with Nile Legends yet. We'll kind of make that Your together. Won't be quick or quiet. Uh, see if we want to change anything from the last time we played it. Like five days ago or so. Oh, good hit. And don't let it go to your head. Um who donated it for the Night Legends deck? It was Frisky Biscuits. Yeah, this is it there. Its loss will serve us. Well, I guess they don't have any explore creatures. It's good. Yeah, Dredge is self mill Phoenix. Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, we'll we'll tune it some today. I'm kind of thinking the Urza's Ruinous Blast. Maybe just put all all the Ruinous Blast in the sideboard and just not even have that main deck anymore with all the Planeswalkers running around. It's certainly great against these Wild Growth Walker decks, but that's kind of the. I guess there's a couple other spots to play it also, but that's the main one. Ooh, we get to kill a Wild Growth Walker. Like that. Oh, okay. I I thought that was a little greedy of me dead. playing that, because it di did die to the minus three. Walkers. All right, getting getting punished. Also drawing a land. Um. The 
day is yours. No. Twenty three land deck, why do you fail us? Protect that which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. We're at 34. 34 is a whole lot. Like maybe I sit back and protect. Never mind. Because hey, maybe I sit back and protect Nissa here and get to like Nissa ultimate and maybe do something there. But never mind. Yeah, Churches is pretty great. Hey, good job. Orzov Aristocrats just beat Teamer Reclamation. There you go. That's a good time. Last card is. Wow. Yep, that was really annoying. Now they still have, they got to kill Phoenix and still have Disdainful Stroke up. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, did really good with the Naya Feather list. Yeah, I like that one. I'll probably play that again tomorrow. I've been wanting to get back to that deck. I like all the haste and everything in that deck. I, d I honestly don't know how I'm getting through these Wild Breath Walkers. I honestly don't know at all. I need to draw like shock, lightning strike, like that kind of stuff. Lava coil. I can like attack in and then post combat kill him, I guess. These four threes. 
mean, if I attack with everything, they're just going to kill my two scavengers, right? Should I trade two scavengers for... I think I think I am going to attack with everything next turn. Every fight makes me stronger. Balance comes. Guess I'll just trade my two scavengers eat to be able to eat two things. And do a lot of damage to them. I guess I'm not attacking now that we know these that we want to protect Nissa now. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? They just have infinite life. Like whenever they draw command the dread horde, we die. Come just have to. infinite life here. <laughs> yeah, Arclight Phoenix is a tough deck to play. It is. There are like how yeah there are just tons of options you know like how to sequence all your spells and everything like that. That's a tough one. Hey, what's up, Cajun guy? I guess our only hope is like ultimate Nissa. Just have a bunch of three three indestructible lands. I don't really know where that gets us either though. Again. How this thing goes. So you much life. Stop nature. We'll just find more explore creatures or crisis. So my deck's pretty bad against Wild Growth Walker. Found a found a hole. A chink in the armor. No, I wouldn't I uh the question is Lava Coil is never good main deck for Gruel, right? And I would disagree with that. No, Lava Coil can certainly be good main deck. It's it's a great card. Now if they start 
So yes, I, I threw out the Sark in there because there had been two other times like where I had two cards in hand and I played a, a card that the they could disdainful stroke and they didn't shield. choose to. And so I was you know, just kind of going for it and seeing if like maybe they would choose not to. Through this land, we are all connected. Harness the elements. Watch it burn. Rise, my elemental friend. I always survive. You'll see. Maybe we can get there. The land shall conquer you. Okay, didn't attack. Get to ultimate Nissa and still have Nissa up here. The land will help us find a way. Maybe we can get there. Nissa ult is, is awesome. Let's light it up. <laughs> Still hit the land. Um These things are indestructible, right? Yeah. Yeah, having a... Oh, I, I could activate the Mobilize District. Alright, there Nissa's taken out. Help you no longer. So Nissa's ult makes all of our lands indestructible, so all, none of these lands can die, and every turn we'll just continue to make a, a new indestructible land. So can we race Command the Dreadhorde that they still haven't drawn yet, or, or and Hydroid Crisis? They still haven't drawn yet. Ooh! That's a good one. No! Lag is back a little bit here. It's just, it's just being slow, at least. Tools are for push knobs. Let's just fight. The land fights for us. Kill one of these lands. Oh, let the blighters feel the ground tremble. Next turn, I'm attacking all, like with these creatures and everything too. I want to give them one one turn to like maybe have like some of these jade lights and branch walkers die. Okay, oh, they're not gonna have anything die. Why am I not... I forget about that Mobilize District. I attack with that Mobilize District, too. Tilt. I should have saved the fight part of Domri. Woo! 
Wow. Um, I think they're dead. They're not dead. They're really close to being dead. Sorry, Chandra. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. That's what I like to see. All right, do I take down blockers or do I just go upstairs? Rise, my elemental friend. So they are the problem with with Sarkin first and attacking with Chandra first is they they can they could block Chandra. And then I wouldn't be able to ultimate Chandra and get all these extra cards. Like, that's that's something that could happen. I think that, that getting all these extra cards is going to be better for us. I want to get rid of both of those so I can eat both of those creatures. I think I want to eat those two. I think this strike is probably going to go upstairs. Maybe. Or I, I may play this. May, maybe play the strike during combat. The thing, if I kill Phoenix, uh, Phoenix, the Phoenix does make the token. The, the token gets to block one of these things, so it's not. I don't save damage like through the air by killing Phoenix, because then the Phoenix token gets to block. Uh, after I play, I'm gonna play five matches with Gruel Midrange here, and then we're gonna play Dredge after that. Hey, Veer Day. All right. Well, let's just go to damage. Just kind of see what happens. That should be lethal. Yeah, I have, I have 28, and yeah, that's that's very lethal. I had 28 in, in just the lands over there, and looks like I got another 14 on the other side. Wow. I didn't think we were winning that, but our Nissa resolved. You can see, like, the power of Nissa ult. Nis like they could have countered Nissa, they didn't. They chose not to counter Nissa. And then we just made a th kept making three threes. They didn't. They didn't care to ever attack Nissa. And we eventually ulted Nissa. And can continue to make more three threes. And you see, like these are all just indestructible three threes. It's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty tough to beat. Nissa ult got us there. Yeah, Rippy said that I should have conceded. Yeah. You're like, just concede, go next. Well. <clears throat> Alright, when the Command the Dread Horde deck, deck does not draw Command the Dread Horde, it's a lot easier to defeat them. Forest, forest, mountain, mountain. See, I wish I had the 2-2 Haster here instead of the Growth Chamber Guardian. Ugh, I don't think I even want to play the Growth Chamber Guardian, honestly. Into the Shock deck. Yeah, we're going to wait till turn 5 for that. Yeah, 
so we'll especially draw on like the fifth land not having things to do later we'll just wait till turn five and if our opponent's tapped out we'll like you know play the growth chamber guardian and activate it right away I uh, panda the difference is the amount the amount of people the prize money opens have generally around like 700 ish people and classics generally have around 150 to 200 Classics are just paid out in store credit and um, opens pay out in money. So, yes, the open is better. Classics are one day, opens are two days. People that don't make the second day of the open go and play the classic. Steamkin's busted. Huh, that's weird, Matthew. I haven't I haven't seen that before. Well I could try to I could go like Harpooner, Domri fight, Steamkin. We're just really dead. Like that's just not even like a good line. <clears throat> I honestly don't have good lines. If they have instant speed burn, I'm dead. They just had instant speed burn anyway, I was dead. There. I need coils, daredevils. Cannonade doesn't seem so bad because I, I definitely do not want war boss. So we want like Brontodon and Scavenger and maybe Chandra and maybe no Land War Elf because a Chain Whirler. No Domri. No this stuff. No scavenger. No, not playing Cindervine. Cindervine's worse than all of these cards and worse than Cannonade. <clears throat> I think I maybe should be playing Cannonade. Alright, I know Scavenger says gain life, but it's also just a crappy 3-2. You get rid of something up here. Nice. Awesome, Joey. The feather, the Naya feather deck that we played was really impressive. I'll probably be playing that again tomorrow. I like that deck quite a bit. All right, now we actually have removal for Steamkin. It's good. We've got to have removal for their creatures. Yeah, I'm not being frenzy. I don't think they have light at the stage since they just played Mountain Main 1.
I want to just chain trade this and uh, trade this plus chain whirler. I mean that lava runner just turns into a two two anyway. Hmm. All right, land drop. Tilt. Wizard. Pirate. Ow. Oh no. That is a frenzy. It's gonna be tough to deal with frenzy. Hmm. I was playing the Chandra there thinking they weren't going to be able to play the frenzy and the lava runner, but obviously they could. I am not gonna beat. I'm not being frenzy. I guess just that's not possible for me to be frenzy. Three and one. All right. Let's play one more match with Gruel Midrange. Still definitely a good league, even if we lose this one. Whenever I'm playing these Mythic ranked uh, leagues, I'm just trying to win three out of the five. Like, that's the goal is win three out of the five. And so we already hit that goal. So we're just playing... Playing with house money here. And what a great opener. Turn it to War Boss on the play. What a great opener. Veer Day, what do you think of Bonda flourishing as a life gain sideboard in Gruel? I don't really like it. I think, especially like that, those kind of matchups, I think removal is, is pretty important. I think if, if we want some, something for red, I think Ripjaw Raptor is kind of the card. And then, and maybe I need more, or more, like, maybe Ripjaw Raptor, maybe more Brontodon. Brontodon's a, a really nice body that takes out, that can take out Fren Frenzy also. Brontodon is great. Both of those dinosaurs are really good in that matchup. Let's see some panic in the Clutch Domri. Come What a good hand. All right, so they were Bant with Wild Growth Walker. So this has got to be like Bant Explore Arc Bow, or you know, like Bant Flash with Explore stuff to Fairy Vivian Explore creatures. Um. Which means Cannonade's a little awkward here. Oh, it could be four color dread horde. You're right. You're right. That could definitely could be four color dread horde. That's a good point. Yeah, that was like our best possible hand. That was that hand was awesome. Hmm. I 
cannonade? It's like Bannon, they have a bunch of mana creatures and stuff. I'm going to want cannonade. If it's Dread Horde, I'm not going to want cannonade. If it's like four color Dread Horde, I'm going to want land. I'm going to want these Legion War bosses. I mean, I don't. I wasn't very impressed with the Scavenger like that other game. It didn't look very important. I'm going to just try a Cannonade here on the draw. Or you can reassess if we're on the play. You know, War Boss is a lot better on the play than on the draw, especially against other creatures. Yes, Wise Worms. Yep, that's the list. We have Strike for Walker, which is good. It still could technically be either deck. Bant or Four Color Dread Horde. We haven't seen anything that's in one and not in the other. <laughs> All these cards are in both. Or there could still be either one. Yeah, I'm only playing 23 lands, which I thought, which I honestly was thinking that could be kind of a problem. All right, well, it's definitely Bant, obviously, now. I was thinking the just the 23 lands could be a problem, but it really hasn't been. <laughs> Nothing like a bit I was thinking that I was going to want, like, the 24th land. Oh, be but it's actually been just fine. Tuck my tail between my legs. Thrill Mystic. Did resolve pretty quickly there. Yeah, the, the their mana creature was their second blue source there as far as Frill Mystic is concerned. Just kind of busted. All right, so I'm doing this like this so that instead of just lightning striking the Oketra first, I'm doing it like that because like it's still going to trample over. But if if they did have negate, if like they had the, the two mana there, if they did have like negate or Dovin's veto, um, then I'm not just like wasting both lightning strikes first and then they Dovin's veto the second one and then they don't block. So at, at the very least, if the second one would get countered, we'd still have the Spellbreaker take out the Oketra there. Oh, they had Disdainful Stroke. That's the counter spell they've had. So they go down to two. Uh, 
Uh, dang it, that, they're just going to put that on top both times. They get a 4-3. Just have more disdainful strokes. It's possible. That is clutch. I, mean, I think we just go for the win. Gets around disdainful stroke. We get a trample. There we go. All right, four and one. <clears throat> so nice showing for the Gruul deck there. A nice four one. And playing through this, I think this deck probably is. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling this deck is more powerful than the Gruul Arcbo version with Ilharg and Ronus and Ravager Worm and everything. While I do like that. That deck also. These Planeswalkers are so good. We saw Nyssa just really take over like that one game that, you know, should have been lost kind of thing. But Nyssa took over, ultimated Sarkin. Uh, didn't do very much for us, but it's still just a, a really fine card. Chandra was great. Domri was awesome. Man, the Domri's were just so good. That was, that was uh, definitely an impressive card in there, was Domri. Sideboard, you know, we, we got rolled over by Mono Red. <clears throat> I thought I was going to like the Death Gorge Scavengers more than I did. Like, I, I, you know, I wanted to put these in, like, in theory. I was thinking that they were going to be pretty good. I don't think this card really helps you beat Command the Dread Horde deck. It really didn't seem like it, it would because, you know, it just gets bricked walled by, like, Wild Growth Walker and you can't attack in with it and everything. So I feel like we could maybe have a better red plan in here with, like, maybe more Brontodon, Ripjaw Raptor kind of thing. Um, maybe just more removal also could see playing Lava Coil's main deck and everything like that. Um, but this deck was really strong. It, it certainly was. I think the, the cards that I am would consider changing would be Shock, Lightning, Strike. See, like, if you if we want, you know, Lava Coil's or something like that instead, you know, like, what, what those numbers should be for those five spells. And then, like, Scavengers... Maybe. I like the extra Chandra. I think I like all the other cards. Like maybe the, the three Death Gorge Scavengers that could be uh, situated differently. But I would need a little bit more practice with the deck. Um, hey, what's up, Yud? So there we go. All right, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the Gruel mid-range deck. Please hit that like button over there. The subscribe button as well would be nice. But that's it for